Hi, this is Enid from MySweetDeals.com and I'm here to go over how to make a basic coupon binder for new couponers or casual couponers. Okay, to start there are some tools that you will be needing. One, you will be needing coupon holders. I have a business card coupon holder example here and baseball card coupon holders. The kind that you use is based on your personal preference or you can use both. I do use both and I'll show you why. Okay. And dividers. Dividers are going to be very helpful for organizing your coupons. Another tool you will be needing will be a hole punch. This is going to be helpful for punching holes in ads, your Sunday coupon preview copy, and coupon policies. And the most important tool of all here is the binder itself. I have here a regular three ring, one inch binder. To start with, it's good to start with a one inch binder. You can start with a larger binder if you need to, but it's not necessary. Also, a regular binder would be fine. This one has a cover on it and has pouches on the inside. If that's what you'd like, that's okay. If yours doesn't have that, don't fret because you don't really need it. Okay, so let's open up our binder and see what it's all about. All right, well inside I have lots of wonderful things. First, if you did have a binder with the pouch, you can use that to put coupon books in or activity books. Here I have the Walgreens coupon book and an activity book for our military base that has discounts, promotions, and of course, events going on on base. All right, I also have a plastic pouch for which I hold tools in. Now this is optional for a basic couponer or a casual couponer. You don't need to carry your tools around with you and you don't need to carry the tools if you do want to have them with you in your binder. You can always keep them in your purse. Here are just some basic tools that I use which are a pair of scissors, a calculator, a pen, highlighter, and a marker. Again this is optional. If you find that it helps you to carry it with you in your binder if you have space go for it. If not, don't worry about it. Next part of my binder is I have a place to store all my reward cards. If you are new to couponing and don't have many loyalty cards or reward cards, you will find out that it is a great benefit to you to get the most savings by signing up for store reward programs, cards, whatever they have. Okay? And the best holder for this would be the business card holders. Why? Because they have a nice snug fit so you know your cards will not be falling out. Okay. Right here I also have the business card holder holding actual business cards. And the reason why I have these business cards here are because these particular businesses give me a discount if I show them their card that I've been there before. So if you have that same benefit with certain businesses, go ahead and make a slot right here for your business cards, okay? The next slot I have is just personal for me and if it helps you to have this, I suggest putting it in your binder as well. I have rebate reminders. Here I have a finished rebate. I have the price which I will be reimbursed for for the rebate and the date it expires. I have two, one for finish, one for OxyClean. As well, I have reminders of certain discounts on certain days. This is for Old Navy saying I would save an extra 10% if I use my Banana Republic Lux card at Old Navy on Tuesdays. And this is an extra 10% on Monday through Friday for getting your hair cut at this particular salon, okay? These are just examples. And below here are certain promo codes of pizza places and whatnot. And those are here just for example, or fillers. All right, in addition, I have an open slot baseball card holder right here. And this is for when I am shopping at the grocery store and I see blinkies and tear pads or coupons that random customers just left on the shelf. I go ahead and take those and I have a place to put them right here. So I don't have to be shoving them into my purse, putting them in my wallet, and eventually losing them because that's what's happened in the past. 
By having an open slot coupon holder right here, it cuts out the possibility of losing those coupons. Okay. Now this is another option. Um, this may help new couponers and the casual couponer. If you print out the Sunday coupon preview, which will come out as early as Thursday, and you can get these from sundaycouponpreview.com. Um, it's good to have them here to know what coupons are going to be coming out in the Sunday paper. So it's just a quick reference. Again, this is optional. You don't need it. If it helps you, please put it in there. Okay. So now we're getting to the bulk of the binder, which will be the coupons. Here is where you want to start your dividers, and you want to put a little heading right here. Again, this is an example binder, so I don't have a heading. But I'm going to show you what it does. Ready? One, two, three. All right, so right now I have my stationary coupons right here. Okay, next divider. I have my protein shakes, health bar, weight loss, nutrition related coupons. Okay, and here we go. I have my household cleaning products, laundry detergent, all that type of stuff right here. And then I have a special section here in the back, which I think is important if you're starting your first coupon binder and you're getting into coupon stacking and seeing lots of store coupons, which are coupons only to be used at a certain store. It can't be used anywhere else, like manufacturers are. They're like Target coupons can only be used at Target and Walgreens coupons can only be used at Walgreens. You wanna have a special divider just for that. And as you can see, it says store coupons right here that over and here I have my Target coupons and my Walgreens coupons Ta -da! all right and again I have another open coupon holder oh I'm sorry retail coupons keep forgetting about those and then I have another open free coupon holder. Now this is specifically for store coupons that I find while shopping in the store. Okay, You don't need to have an extra one, I just find it more convenient than flipping all the way up to the front and putting coupons in there when I'm going to have to flip back and put the coupons in the store coupon oh. section. Okay. Now this is where your hole punch is going to come in handy. For price matching and just have a general reference of what things cost in the store, it's good to have your ads here. I like to start with the smallest ads in the front, the largest in the back, and I also like to have it organized by which stores I frequent the most. But here I frequent the most Safeway and Walgreens. So those are in the front. With the Sally Beauty Supply being in the, the very front because it's small. Okay? Ta -da and Target would be the last one because Target is very far away from my home. Okay, after your ads, another plus to have when you're couponing, especially if you're a beginner, is the coupon policies for each store. Now I only have one policy and this is for Target because this is an example binder like I stated earlier, but if you're new to couponing and unfamiliar with coupon policies, it's great for you to print out the policies, which can be found usually on the websites of most stores. However, some stores don't have coupon policies and there's nothing to print. So if you're unsure, go ahead and give a call to corporate or send an email and maybe they can send you something more detailed about using coupons or discounts, promotions, whatever you can get, that's great. Okay. That over and again I have another pouch here like I said if you don't have the pouch you don't even have to worry about this part but if you do have the pouch um, another convenience I would think with the pouch would be holding additional booklets and whatnot for us being a military wife we have commissary brochures see and this is where that pouch comes in handy because this brochure is not going to be helpful if you hole punch it and put it here at the back. It's just not. It's just better to have it right here where you can pull it out if you need to. Okay, well, that's the basics of a beginner casual couponer binder. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I would love for you to subscribe because I will be having more videos put up as soon as I can get them done. And don't forget, you can always visit my website, mysweetdealswithaz.com, which will be going under major construction shortly. Um, of course, when that does happen, the best way to get a hold of me would be on Twitter at My Sweet Deals, of course, with the Z. And I also have a Facebook group page called My Sweet Deals with the Z. Um, if you want to friend me, I am Enid C. And then the Savvy Saver is another person who is an admin on the site. So, of course, please, as always, subscribe, comment, get in touch with me. I love to share my shopping experiences. I love to help others who are interested in couponing. That's just what I love to do. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great night.